I'm going to do a compression test and a leak down check on this engine. This is a 396 big block from a 69 Camaro. It's got an HEI distributor in it right now, which means high energy ignition. I had the point type distributor, but when I was having some supposedly ignition issues, I actually pulled that point type distributor out and popped in an HEI to see if that would fix it. The tool that I'm gonna to use to do the compression test is right here. Some Mac tools, compression test kit. And here's the procedure. Here's the gauge. And here's all the different different type, different size spark plugs. And here's the adapters for all the different size plugs. 12 millimeter, 10 millimeter, 14, 18. The other tool I'm gonna to use is called a differential cylinder pressure tester, also known as a leak down checker. Okay, I pulled all the spark plugs, pulled the valve covers off, and I also pulled the hot wire from the ignition right here. This is battery on the ATI. So that way I don't have to take a chance on it firing. All right, so I got the hose. This is a 14 millimeter thread. So I'm gonna go into the number one cylinder first. And I'm just gonna snug it finger tight. One thing I should note here is see the thread length on this spark plug and the thread length on this adapter. So that way I'm able to use this one and this adapter because there is a good depth on those spark plugs to where they get into the piston. So you don't want to use one of these with the long threads on if your spark plug is only really short, because you actually could end up hitting the end of the piston. So that's something to look for. Now that I got the hose in place, I'm going to take and there's Macy. Connect this quick club coupler. All right, it's locked in place. Now I'm going to spin the engine over about five times and I'm gonna check the compression. I'm gonna write it down. All right, I spun it over about five times and I've got about 160 on the gauge, which is plenty of compression. So then I'm gonna hit this button and that's gonna let the air out. All right, then I can move to the next cylinder. All right, so I did number one, it was 160. Number three was 155. Number five was 160. And now I'm gonna check number seven. And now I've got about 160 all the way around the engine. All right, so next I'm gonna do a leak down test with this gauge right here. And I've got number one cylinder at top dead center. And I've got my gauge, my lead down checker here, or differential cylinder pressure tester to be exact. And I've got a close to hundred pounds of air pressure and it's gonna drop down once I put air to this cylinder. So I'm gonna plug this in and then I'll get right back here in just a second. Okay, so with the piston up at top dead center, my input pressure has gone down to 75. I don't have a great air compressor here. And then my reading is at 69. So I'm gonna go over to my chart and I'll show you what I actually percentage of leak down I have. All right, so with an input pressure of 75, and I ended up with about 70, 69, let's say, I've got 8% leak down. So 8% leak down on cylinder number one. I'm gonna rotate the engine over 90 degrees and then I'll go in the firing order, which is on a Chevrolet 18436572. What I did was I took a tape measure, measured all the way around the balancer and it's 22 inches. So every five and a half inches on the balancer, I'll put a mark. So I'm on number one and six right now at top dead center. And when I go around 180 degrees, it'll be number six. The piston will be up on compression stroke. Something else I should point out when I'm doing a leak down, you want to make sure that the rockers 
are loose. That means that the cam's on its base circle, the valves are shut. So if there's any leaking, you'll be able to tell if it's leaking out the exhaust, that means you got an exhaust valve leaking. If it's leaking out of the intake, then that means you got an intake valve leaking. Or if it's leaking into the crankcase, then that means your piston rings are probably shot. And then you can shoot some oil in the cylinder and check it again. And, that, and if it goes up or the leak down goes down, then you'll be able to tell if it's the rings or not because the oil will seal around the rings and help it to seal a little better, even if they're war. Okay, so I've got the gauge on here and you can see I've got a pretty decent amount of leak down. So, and it sounds like it's leaking into, into the, uh, well, so if you think it's an exhaust, you can tap on the exhaust and that'll kind of tap on the intake and then that'll, t that'll tell you if there's any trash underneath the, the valve. But so after determining that the exhaust valve was leaking, I ended up pulling the head off and I poured alcohol down in the exhaust port. You can see where it's leaking right here around the valve itself. There was a valve job done, but it was done pretty poorly. And I'll show you here in just a second how the exhaust valve angle wasn't even finished on the job. As you see, I took the valve out and you can see where there's only one valve angle. They didn't complete the job. They got a new seat in there and it's staked in. But if you look over here to this other port, you can see that there's a couple of valve angles done on this one right here. And so the other one's only got one. So there was, of course, there was a lot of leak down on that cylinder. So I ended up pulling both heads, redid the valve job, and put it back together, and here we go. Okay. 